Welcome everyone to Ghost Recon Breakpoint, the beta. You're here with me, Cox47. I mean, I've changed my name to Tom Clancy, but I'm still Cox47. Um, I played the game for seven hours total. Uh, I haven't played much of it. There's, there wasn't much to it. I'm only doing this quick little video. It's, a, it's the last day of the beta. I've had it for four days. So I'm only doing this quick, uh, just to sort of explain bits and bobs. I've recorded other videos and I've recorded them without audio, uh, just game audio. Uh, I, I found it that it was, it was just something that I was playing like a little personal thing, but I wanted to record it anyway and upload it because it's it's worth a look at the videos if you like the look of the game that's due to come out very soon. Uh, so. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the videos, and I just want to say thank you for watching them. Uh, this is going to be the last one. I'm only going to do a little bit through this with audio. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to click on it. I'll sort through everything, and I'll try try my best to explain things if I can. Sorry, what do you think? So yeah, every single time I come on this game, I have to fucking piss about. I mean, I understand it's a beta, I understand there's a lot of things wrong with it, but... <sighs> you, uh, these little symbols, you're saying two, two, and it did have one of yours as well. It's just basically saying you've got two new items in that category. Just constantly just trying to find the best stuff, that's all. It's all shit. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, handguns. What we got here? I am tempted to buy the Desert Eagle. Uh, all this is just basically like, uh, you can either have it so that this is what you actually wear and this is what you look like and this is what you're using and stuff. Or you can do the, the whole override thing and then that plays out with this, where you get to choose you know what you look like, you get to choose all your claws and your hats. Take that off. I want that hat off. Take take the fucking hat off. Uh vests. The vest off. Hands. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear plastic gloves, I'm just gonna wear nothing. Pants. The loading is really like slow on it. I think for this one I'm gonna wear these, and I'm gonna wear them in black. So yeah, there's full uh, full choice on like what you're wearing and what colours they come out and stuff like that. Loads and loads of stuff to work through. Um, I'm going to get rid of this fucking mask. No. No, 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 nothing. There we go. Yeah, so I can't get rid of this fucking belt either. This belt's like an automatic thing that's just stuck there. What's pretty cool as well is you can actually buy melee weapons. And you, if you do melee takedowns and stuff, you can actually uh, do different ones depending on what you buy. I really want to buy that. Yeah, these deep notch ones, they look so good. It's like what Sam Fisher uses in uh, Blacklist. Splinter Cell Blacklist. Another Tom Clancy game. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's pretty cool, you can have all them. Um, night vision stuff, I haven't unlocked any. Patches, and uh, uh, all this and that stuff. And then you get like all of the pre-characters. It's kind of like similar to here. 
which kind of does look like my character as it is anyway. You got Nomad, you all must know who Nomad is if you're into the Ghost Recon games. Uh, there he is. Laws are all like pre stuff. I'm just gonna sport this for now. I'm gonna see what I can sell. There's a shop here. So basically, from my other videos, I'm not gonna explain it all in detail because you can just go and watch my other videos and see. Uh, you, you come to this island to do, to do with a mission and drones or whatever they are, these wasp things or whatever the fuck they are, they attack your your helicopter, you go, you crash land, you come down and it's basically kind of like Wildlands, the whole of Wildlands, but you've crash landed here by accident and now you've got to survive kind of thing instead. And the enemies on this game Take don't fuck about at all. They do not mess around. I'm gonna buy that. That's nice. Uh, what have we got here? What about. What about this article? I'm gonna buy this article too. Did I buy it? I don't know. Have a look. So yeah, the objectives board, the, this looks a lot more complicated than what it is, but in, this is like middle ground here, and this is home base where we are now, we've uh, and sort of banded together, you know, different people from different cultures and all that sort of stuff, not just soldiers, uh, but this is also where like all the other players and stuff are as well, so you can like team up with like random players and go on missions and all sorts of stuff, there's so much stuff to do. Um, but in this place, there's, um, you know, NPC characters that give you missions and stuff. You know, there's uh, Madzio, and he deals with all this sort of department where you can get different missions from. There's Maria, the shop owner, which gives you all different stuff you can get towards the shop. There's the PvP stuff, and then there's Jericho Dunya, which hasn't been unlocked for the beta. Uh, but definitely something exciting to look forward to in the full game because it's it's something to do with raids so that sounds pretty cool so yeah uh there is john down there like uh, the main bad guy of the game it's all to do with him and it's also to do with uh yeah scale scale technology all that sort of stuff i've done all the side missions they're all finished um i finished uh, operation greenstone i'm guessing like it doesn't look like much, but I'm, you know, down here, but I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of branches all over the place down here. Because the game has to, you know, it has to be big, it has to go on, you know. Um, let's check out my handguns, what I get there? Uh, oh, a blue handgun. A desert, oh, fuck yes, bro. Dude, a desert eagle for the win, bro. Oh, looks nice too. It ain't going to be painted that shit, though. No. Dude. Alright, paint. Let's get the paint going because it ain't getting painted that shit. Wish I had more skins. I don't know where to buy the skins. I think. What does it say? Unavailable, unavailable. Buy from Maria's shop. Really? Where? Shop. So I can discuss with her, leave, whatever. Gives you loads of different options. None of this was in the... Shut up. None of this was in the technical test. So they've really, really improved from the technical test to this. Which is really impressive, it's really good. There's a lot more to this now. And the controls feel better, everything like that as well. There's a lot more added to it. Oh yeah, here we are, here we go. Oh, dude. Uh, what do you think? Red, uh, red will stand out a good bit. There we go. Ah, oh, so I buy them from you. Red then costs 600. Okay, so I can sell like, I can sell like items in that shop as well and get some cash. Alright. 
So the red that I bought, I guess, doesn't go for all weapons. It just goes for all the other players here as well, like buying stuff and selling stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm selling shit though. That SMG there looks like Capcan's gun. Sell that Desert Eagle because I won't be needing that. I got about enough I need anyway, so let's get this red paint and then. I bought a few stuff along the way, you know, when I've played the game a little bit. Like After what you did in Freeport, only the best for you. A uh, good bit done stuff. I've enjoyed it, but I haven't had, uh, you know, mass amounts of time to play it, but. Uh, I've enjoyed from, from what it is, like, there we go, bought, lovely. Yeah, they've definitely improved on the, the skills and stuff as well, I'll go over them now. We'll take a look at the skins. So instead of black, let's go red, shall we? Oh, it's all red and stands out and stuff. Looking weird. Let's paint this. Let's check this out. So whatever that other red skin is that I had. So you can paint each each bit individually as well, different colours if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, whatever that other skin was that I had. I don't know what the hell I got. Definitely none of these. They're all going to get painted red so they stand out a little bit. That's the first blue gun that I've had, the Desert Eagle, which I'm very happy that it became my first in this beta. Because Desert Eagle is my all-time favourite gun, so... We're going to get into play with that. So yeah, loads of stuff going on in the, the home hub here. Yeah. Loads of players wandering, ar wandering around and... Shops and missions and a place to, like, just chill and... There's a campfire. I've gone over campfires. I think in my other video, you get to see me using campfires and stuff. It's uh, they're scattered all over the map. You'll see them uh, with, with trails of smoke up in the air and stuff. Easy to spot. And it's just a good place to like. You get to choose what perks you want to take out into the field with you. What weapons, you know, craft items, all this and that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get out here now because I don't want to take too long in this video. I just want to do a li little bit of gameplay, a little bit of shoot out here and there, whatever, and end it there. But I just want to say, you know, the other videos that I've done, I haven't recorded audio, but I've, I have recorded the gameplay if you want to watch it. There are some uh, missions involved and stuff, so, uh, you know, I might, you know, I'm giving the spoil spoiler alert one, just in case you don't want to see any of the missions or anything like that. And the other ones then is a bit more of uh, how I started and what it all came to be. And so, yeah, I got my assault rifle with my grenade launcher attachment. I've got my full LMG. Uh, always good to have an LMG in this game because... Uh, what the fuck am I doing? Oh, all right. No, 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 no. Get off. Get off. And then I got my handgun. Oh yeah, baby. I don't feel like the Desert Eagles in games these days have much of a kick to them. Which they should. Like, like I should be like really like getting kicked back by that. But I'm not. Uh, which is a shame, but it's, you know, still cool to have a Desert Eagle. Can't wait to use it out. It's going to be fucking awesome. So I've leveled up my skills and stuff. But I've still got some skill points to spend here, and I really do want to spend them. Now let's go into my skills. So yeah, you start up with four sort of like um, special uh, specializations, and these specializations allow you to press L1 and R1 at the same time when they're full. This one, uh, this one heals and revives friendly people, you know, teammates. True Grit then on this one with the L1 and R1, this one uh, recall reduction damage resistant and kills heal and an extended duration. I've I've picked Panther, which is uh, I disappear behind smoke screen and I'm able to run away and hide and get a better vantage point. 
then this one's more of like a sniper sort of thing. And then each of them as well have a special uh, spree with this one as a launcher, gas grenades, and med kits. You know, they're all different. Uh, yeah, I want to start going down this this line because when you upgrade and and do the stats and stuff and your guns, this unlocks then the next next set down. So I'm gonna get that. I just need one more point. So maybe if we can go out and get one more point. Um, I've got a few weapons and stuff I wanted to track down. I did really want to get this, but I, I couldn't find it anyway. Fucking hell, fucking... Jesus, calm down. Fucking Jesus. Come on, man. I'm going to put that there. So, yeah, you get, like, up to three missions that you can pin on the left. And then they'll stay there then, and you can just check on them. And, and it's good having them there, because when you're running around, it tells you the locations of them, where to go, all this and that. Uh, right there. So, yeah, there they are. There's my three different guns. Now, the way that we go about finding where these things are, let's go for the uh, the org, because I really want to really get an org. So it's in the south southwestern part of Smuggler's Cove's province. I'm going to press square here to turn on these names because it's a lot easier. It's uh, in Aurora Materials Deposit. So wherever that is. Uh, sometimes you have to zoom in and it'll give you more. Pause it, huh? In Outlaw Valley. Outlaw Valley. East of Lookout. Lookout Peak. Where's Lookout Peak? Look, east, so. East of Lookout Peak. In Outlaw Valley. In Aurora. Oh, it's not Aurora, it's Aura Materials Deposit, which I think is there, but I could be wrong. We're going to head there anyway and check it out. The controls feel really good and stuff as well since uh, Wildlands. They've really like up upped the, the feel of the controls and stuff. Look, it feels really, really good now the game does like... Um, I keep compa comparing it to Wildlands because it is very similar to Wildlands in its ways, but it's also like really improved on it as well, like majorly improved on it. And I like the whole like survival stuff to it now that you can like drink and stuff. You'll see in my other videos, drink and eat and all this sort of stuff. So yeah, there's smoke down there, which means that there's a campfire there. Campfires are also uh, fast travel points as well on top of it. Right, okay then. There's a mission right underneath me. Uh, VIP located. Look at the prisoner. <coughs> oh, in the middle of the fucking mountains. Okay. Let's go check this shit out then. For them, huh? So the sync shot ability, which I used to love from the Ghost Recon games, all of the Ghost Recon games, the sync shot ability, which is so cool. And the way it works is, it's kind of awkward because it's L1 to use the the gadget, but then it's also L2 to aim. So you kind of have to hold one finger on L2 and then press L1 to do it. And it works like this. That's Mark 1. No, let's get the other guy. Let's 
Let's get the other guy, come on. One. Two. Three. I think I can only do a maximum of three. And then I hold L1 and my secret little invisible drones will take care of it for me. Just like that. These uh, icons here that they've dropped are showing that they've dropped items and the items are random, but uh, different rarities, different colors. We've got a white your green, blue then is better, you know. So let's check out what blue item they've given me. Oh, a blue handgun, nice. And then what the other else they gave me? Oh, vector, very cool. What am I looking at? What? What am I looking down here for? So yeah, these are these exclamation marks here. Come on. Come on. Some of, some of them, because they're stuck right next door. But I've noticed the controls are very buggy in the... the beta. They feel good and everything, but once in a while, like, your character will get stuck and not move and or move very weirdly or something like that, you know? Okay, so you can choose out of the intel what, what you want. Oh shit. So this is a symbol of a plane coming. That's it up above me, spotting me. And it spotted me. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Fuck, it's gonna destroy me. Yeah, it's gonna wreck me. Yeah, okay. So that's why you need to hide from them and you need to be like very sneaky around there, like drones and stuff. Like the technology the enemies have in this game is just fucking tremendous. Horrendous. of cold lake. Yeah, which is like fucking you, like, you know, where I was, like, you know. Ooh, snow. I've never noticed snow before. Oh shit, they've got a drone. And then you've got this, which is a fucking awesome feature. Ooh, it's made all my hair go white. <laughs> oh, what a weird glitch. So you move very differently as well depending on like what kind of terrain you're going through as well which is quite cool give me that shit yeah electronic sensors my hair has glitched and stayed white that is fucking weird so I gotta lead these I've, I haven't done uh, any mission like this yet it's like a little side thing what do I want oh the oh, Colt 1911 oh nice Definitely adding that one. Where is that? Yeah, I'll get rid of the sniper rifle to do that one. In the mining controlling center. Oh, nice. Okay. We'll head there. We'll do that. 
come with me if you want to live. Oh fuck! It's a fucking Cologne, are we? She actually following me. Oh god! We're gonna go on foot, all right? It just makes life a lot easier. There are some bikes down here. So yeah, you collect all sorts of stuff around the area and materials and uh, foods and vegetables and all sorts of fucking stuff because you craft, you know. I don't care. Shut up. Get away from me. Right, can you jump on the bike with me? Can you? No? Fine. Go! Go, 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 go. go. Oof. Well, my hair's black again. Helicopter above me. We're going in this one because it's big gun, bulk gun, and it's probably fucking a lot fucking better to drive. In. Get in, yeah. Fucking tired. Right. We're off. Hopefully, they recognize this as one of their own and they don't notice the dead guy hanging off the roof. Yeah, they noticed. It's fucked. Yeah, it's completely fucked. Okay. But we keep on driving. This is why I picked a bigger vehicle. Because if they want to start shit, then they're, gonna, they're in for it. Like, oh, look, there's a box here. <gasps> oh, fuck. I shouldn't have come here. Oh, shit. I should not have come here. I should not have brought her here. Oh Christ, oh Christ. Alert! Contact! Enemy contact! I should not have come here. I should not have come here. Where is she? Shit, 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 shit. Just get in, just get in, just get in. I don't care. I am getting my fucking face smashed in here. Get in the vehicle. Get in! The vehicle fucked, isn't it? Jesus Christ, you fucking retard. So, yeah, you get certain areas like that in the game as well, which require you to have a certain level in gear to be. It sucks. And it sucks worse now because I'm pretty sure it resets the whole thing, the whole mission. And, it, and then, like, do you know when you've got to do that over and over again? It's like very fucking repetitive. It's horrible. You know what, you little fucking bastard? Let's see what you got against this then. Change my gear over here. Get rid of these grenades. Get rid of them. Get rid of that. All right, fuck. Get that. Get some fucking C4 going. Let's smash this little bastard. Let's get some EMP grenades going because he's a fucking robot. Let's just smash this cut. Like fucking do. Love over here. <laughs> Fuck now, aren't you? That's right. Take one up a fucking chuff. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Ah! Fuck you! Get out! Please don't blow up anymore. There we go. Oh, I got a hat out of it. Woohoo. Exciting. 
to have to like I got a fucking act for doing it. Now, what didn't tell you got me? Huh? Why weren't you? Uh, I knew. So these are bivouacs. They are the campfires. Or do I just want to get some intel? Yeah, I'll get some intel instead. I don't need another bivouac. I really want to go after that uh, that cult, like. Mother bitch. Trunk. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> pretty cool if you're playing with four people. You could do all sorts of stuff. Let's go rescue this re retard and then go back. Bear in mind, I am strictly only calling them a retard because they're not listening to me. You scum sucking pigs. Okay, so the. The hostage is over here. Please, don't know me. Drone dead. Men dead. You. I'm not doing any more of them fucking intel things because they're just doing my head in. Come on, let's get up to you. Oh shit. Oh, helicopters. You gotta watch out for everything passing you in this game. They spot you and you get to have to deal with, you know, the kind of stuff that I've been having to deal with. It's a pain in the fucking ass. No. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking hell. You gotta go slow sometimes in it, like you you can't go fast because it just doesn't work, like, you know. Things that gotta happen. Right, get in. I'm not fucking about. In the car. Don't make me fucking pull over and smash your fucking face. Let's get in. And fuck for that. This one's a bit nip, nip, nippier, like, niftier. Quicker, like. Oh fuck. Thank God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, alright, Jesus. Fucking calm down, will you? Nice looking game, all like, nice looking map and everything, but it, you know, on the, on the upside, it, uh, on the other side of it, it still kind of looks like Wildlands, you know? There's a lot of it that looks like Wildlands. I like that there's a lot. Happy now? Oh. Do you like this quest? Uh, yeah. I do. Helping the communities will grant you exclusive rewards. Each tier requires battle points to unlock. Each season has 50 tiers. Oh my fucking god, okay. Too much information for me. Whoa, it's a fucking drone, what's this? Lux information, what's this about? Let's open the box first then. You know, you do what you fucking want, click. New sniper rifle, nice. What, what can we get out of this? Uh, collectible stuff, okay. I'm just going to do this last little thing, yeah, but we got a canteen, right, so let's show you the food. So down the bottom you get all your medical supplies, your food and stuff, up, to, up top is all like the gadget and stuff. Let's, uh, let's just take a knee and, uh, come on, don't be shy. You know, you can have a drink of water, like, it's not fucking difficult. Maybe it's because she needs to get tired. Yeah, you see where your stamina is down there, like at the bottom. Eventually, when you get too tired, you'll have like these red lines that pop in. And you can start to see them popping in now because I'm starting to get tired. So 
Let's just have a drink of water. You can refill your canteens and stuff in lakes and streams and stuff. Yeah, certain controls near just are real bad. Yeah, I can't even change it. Cancel, cancel, fuck you know. Can cancel? No? Huh? Okay. F fair enough, pal. Okay, so we're in the Mount Hodson uh, mining control. Uh, where's all that? Mining control. What the fuck is this all about? Oh. See, that's one of those areas again that's like really difficult to take on. Northwest of White Ridge. This white giant. Oh. It's just up here somewhere. Northeast of Southwood and west of Cold Lake. So it's. It's here. Oh, it's just across from me. I don't like how they run as well with the handgun. I prefer how they run casually. It's a lot more like realistically sort of like running, but when they run full speed. It's like they've got to constantly have that gun as a pointer. Come on, come on, come on. Get up the hill, come on. Come on, makes my fucking rations come up. Let's have some rations then. Oh, yeah. oh yummy. Uh, I'm going to change my skills back over as well. I don't need like the high end high heavy gear sort of stuff uh, I'm gonna go for the intel grenade again and I like having my sink shot stuff uh, oh we got new stuff what's this 28. so yeah you constantly just don't want to always get the better stuff you know anything green's good anything red's fucking shit but you constantly want to get always the better stuff oh man it's a lot better than my desert eagle but I want to use my desert eagle Sucks, bro. Oh, look at that MPX. <sighs> can I customize it? Can I customize it? So I haven't got anything extra for them. Uh, get the laser sight. Let's get the red dot sight in there. Under barrel. I'm not gonna have a grenade launcher anymore, but at least I'll have that. That looks, looks, looks alright. Painted red begins it. Look. Yeah, I don't know what that other skin was that I paid for. Oh well. Yeah, nice little MPX, look at that. Ward Dunn's gun from... Um, which is another Tom Clancy game. <laughs> Tom Clancy, I really do respect. He's done some really amazing games. Ghost Recon games, you know, he's done the Splinter Cell games. Rainbow Six games. The man's got a lot of experience when it comes to the tactical sort of stuff, like... Come on, come on, come on. Up you go, up you go. That's it. Up you go. You're probably wondering why I haven't even used my drone or anything yet. And it's because I find with this game, you don't really use your drone much. I don't know. I've been getting into more fights than anything else, and it's so easily to get spotted. I wish there was uh, some some things I could use to to like mark a whole area. Boxing there.
my top priority every single time is just try to get inside the building. At least then, if you've got to have a fight, you know. Maybe I can show you my uh, Karambit. Oh, right, okay, yeah, because that's fucking smart. Fucking smart fucking ass, you are. Uh, fucking hell, that's terrible. Fucking hell. Heal. inside this building because I'm not fucking having a fight outside. Ah, 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 ah. Symbolize that symbol on this guy means that he's like the the caller. He'll call out for reinforcements and stuff. Which I'm very surprised he hasn't already. Nice, got a scorpion. Ella's gun from Rainbow Six. So I can take my laser sight. I can take my um, silencer off as well, which drastically improves my damage of the gun. He's injured me. Fucking come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Jesus Christ. So, like, a section of my health done there is red now and it'll stay permanently like that. Be bad, it makes my aiming really bad. You know, you really have to take care of yourself in this game. They broke my leg there. I need to look after myself. Fuck. Scare our raft up. Okay. Last guy by the looks of it. Looks like this guy's got some intel and stuff to him. Um, Any yeah, idea get where this place might be? There's somewhere I know you can look. Thanks for that. Thanks, buddy. Um, let's get this box. There's an upstairs. This place. Where the fuck is the upstairs? Ah, the upstairs. Okay, how do I get in there then? So the music still playing is telling me that Yeah, I've still got like one enemy here or two enemies here Let's get this open What have we got in here? 
Oh, there it is. Hell yeah. Fucking hell. Let me get out here. I just want to get out. I just want to get out. Fucking hell. So let me out. Yeah, it's like it's all like very like just run around and get all the all the best loot you can sort of thing. I think it's a helicopter. I think I'm dealing with a helicopter. No, I'm definitely getting spotted from somewhere. Pretty sure the paint has come off my gun. What the fuck? I didn't know they could do that. The paint can actually wear down on your gun and everything. That's pretty cool. All uh, right, so I've got everything I need. I've basically taken over this whole place. Let's go back to home base, which is era era one. Year one. Year one. I don't know. But we'll go here. I'll craft from my Colt 1911 blueprint, get myself that. And then happy days, folks. Ah, back home. There we go. Safe and sound inside my cave. Let's go shop. Fucking hell, man. Jesus, man. Alright, calm down. Jesus, fucking move, Lou. Shop. Shop, fucking shop, Jesus. Shop, there we go. Up to 4,000 credits again, which is nice. It'll load at some point today. Hopefully. Jesus Christ. I don't give a shit. After what you Ooh. did in Freeport, only the best. Oh, it's blue bueno. My 1911 blueprint, there it is. Very cool. I'm buying that. It doesn't tell you what rarity they come out as, but I think you can upgrade this shop so that she sells you better quality stuff. Uh, no, SMG. I wanted SMG stuff tonight. Uh, let's get the extended magazine for the SMG. Okay, what we got here? Got them, which is better. We get this fucking thing, which is ten times better. Uh, and they also give you uh, bonus features as well on top of them. The better the rarity. So normal ones, they give you nothing. Then you get the green ones that just gives you like extra, like what, 4% 4 stealth, which is a little bit better. Then you get these ones which give you even more stats. Just, uh, you know, really, really cool, like. The ESR, huh? Hmm. It's 29. Pretty good. We'll get that. Let's get the extended magazine, let's get the rail cover, let's get the... No, where's the red dot side? This one, yeah. And let's get a grenade launcher for it. Yeah. Looking cool. Okay, all that's painted, lovely. I'm not getting rid of my Desert Eagle, ever. 
I will be coming back to it. So like everything can be customised and upgraded and everything like that which is really really cool. There we go, all that's painted, nice. I uh, got one skill point. I really want to work on, I really wouldn't mind working on these and getting the shop up and all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know where the shop is. This is so that you can get more perks. The skill tree is, you know, quite big, look. Like. There's quite a lot of stuff to it. What's these ones for someone? Yeah, you can use your drone and change uh, different visions, thermal vision, heat vision, all that sort of stuff. I, I think I've recorded some of it in my video. Uh, just want to say thank you again for taking the time to watch the videos. Uh, if you like them, the game's coming out soon in October, October the 4th, I think. So if you, you know, if you like the look of it, go and get it. It looks pretty cool, it plays pretty cool. A bit, bit buggy here and there in the beta and the alpha and stuff, but uh, I'm sure the full game, you know, is going to be great. I'm definitely getting it. Um, but yeah, thank you, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now.